Well, millions of Americans experience pain because of an injury, overuse, or simply because of aging. But neck and back pain may be just a symptom of a spine disorder. And here now with a new solution for chronic nerve pain is Dr. Shaker Dagum. Welcome to the show. Nice to have Thanks you. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So you're, you're going to be talking about something that's called a, a pacemaker for nerve pain. Is it like a pacemaker that someone would put in for the heart? It's very similar. It's something that uh, you actually have more control over than a traditional pacemaker for the heart. You have the ability to turn it on, turn it off, and increase the intensity or decrease the intensity. So who's a candidate for something like this? Um, it's really anyone who has pain in the back and legs. Um, sometimes uh, we offer traditional surgery, and that often can be the correct solution. But sometimes someone is not healthy enough for the traditional surgery, and this is a less invasive procedure that can help the pain or someone who's had back surgery and not all their pain was taken care of and often this may be the only solution that's available. We have video to demonstrate how it works and I'm hoping you can talk us through it, explain what it is about this device that, that makes it work. Yeah, so right now we're seeing the, the generator device, that's the, where all the electronics and the battery is and then you see the location of pain and the generator is hooked up to a wire that's implanted in the middle of the spine um, behind the spinal cord and under the bone. And it actually creates an electrical field that can block the signals of pain. Uh, and it can be very effective. So when somebody does this, how long have you been utilizing this kind of therapy? Uh, this technology has been around for many, many years. And um, we've found uh, as more and more people get older in our community and more and more people have back surgery that may not be optimal, we're able to use this device as an adjunct mm -hmm. to help them out. And you, you brought the device here. I'm going to hold it up so that we can take a picture um, with our camera. It shows how, how small it is. I don't know if this is the front way. If it, the dice does. That, so that's the generator and this would be implanted like this. Okay. And then this is the wire. This is the actual wire that gets implanted in the spinal canal area. Okay. So it's not a very big wire. No. And is this part inside the body also, or is that monitored from outside? Um, everything is implanted under the skin. Okay. And, uh, and you have the ability to uh, program that device um, day to day and change the intensity and settings, and you get a remote control that allows you to do that. Okay. Well, that's pretty neat. So when somebody uses something like this, do you have to be worried about not feeling that pain that you could injure yourself because you're not feeling it? Um, it doesn't make you numb. It okay. actually just uh, converts the pain signals to a different sensation that's much, much more tolerable. Gotcha. Um, most of these patients have such a uh, horrible, excruciating pain that this can be quite a relief where it can help them be more functional and help them sleep at night. Yeah. The second video that you shared with us is sort of new developments in this, the new technology of, of this therapy. Walk us through this part about it and, and what's exciting for the patient. Yeah, so um, we have two new developments. This is one of them where um, traditionally when we put this device in, the spinal cord would move based upon whether you were laying down or standing. And the device would have uh, an increase in intensity uh, different depending on your position so people would often have to change the settings uh, whether they were standing or sitting. This device actually has a sensor to uh, tell the device w which position you're in and so I it'll see. automatically decrease or increase the intensity so it becomes uh, so you don't have to think about it as much. Okay. How about insurance? Because a lot of people, when they're looking to do anything um, with their back or, or procedures, they really need to make sure that those costs are covered. Absolutely. This is covered by almost every insurance. Wow. That's probably a huge blessing to people to be able to just say, okay, you know what, I might not have to live with all this pain all the time. What do you hear patients say to you once they've used it and, and they've had it in for a little while? Um, most of them say they love it. Yeah. They're very happy that this helps. Um, and then the other thing I was going to add for new developments is we just recently came out one that's now MRI compatible. Before, mm. you couldn't have MRI scans. And now the, the new devices allow us to do that. And that's, that's a big deal so that you can kind of check and make sure like s structurally that someone's okay. Absolutely, absolutely. Because these patients have uh, pain in other areas of the spine. And to be able to give them an MRI uh, it, with this device in, 
is a huge relief for the patient. Yeah. I would think. And metal detectors are not a problem? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. They, they can go through all the detectors without a problem. It's wonderful. It's great. For people who have chronic nerve pain, I would think this is very exciting mm -hmm. news, especially because it's, it's a lot less invasive, I would think, than a lot of other procedures. So if you'd like to get in touch with Dr. Shaker Dagham and find out more about the pacemaker for nerve pain, you can call the phone number that you see on your screen, 414-385-7150. You can go to DagumNeurosurgery.com. He's located on KK River Parkway in Milwaukee. Um, and again, the website phone number there for more information or to make an appointment. Thanks Great so much. Great to see you today. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you. much.